Oh my god, it's happening! It's happening! We have both got a confirmation for a Nintendo Direct in June and the Nintendo Switch 2 exists. Well, they don't call it that, of course, because we didn't get a code name again and we didn't get the name of the system. So we're still here talking about the Nintendo Switch 2 without a code name name or any changes. So things are going to stay the way they are for the most part. But things have changed. Nintendo has confirmed that a successor to the Nintendo Switch is going to be revealed within this fiscal year, that is to say by the end of March 2025. No confirmation whether it's going to be by the end of 2024. And it's as official as it gets because Nintendo's own Twitter, that is to say Nintendo Corporate Limited or NCL, says straight out, this is Furukawa, president of Nintendo. We will make an announcement about the success of the Nintendo Switch within this fiscal year. It will have been over nine years since we announced the existence of Nintendo Switch back in March 2015. We'll be holding a Nintendo Direct this June regarding the Nintendo Switch software lineup for the latter half of 2024. But please be aware there will be no mention of the Nintendo Switch successor during that presentation. What is important in this brief statement that was released both in Japanese and in English is reading between the lines. Number one, this is coming from the top head of Nintendo being president for Okawa. It doesn't get more official than this, outside of, of course, giving a code name or a press release about the system itself. So until we get an announcement sometime in the second half of 2024 or by March 2025, don't expect much news from Nintendo when it comes to Nintendo Switch 2. They have releases, both in May, in the form of Paper Mario The Town's New Door in June when it comes to Luigi's Mansion 2 HD and when it comes to maintaining the Nintendo Switch because the system is still selling when we look at the changes it's still up in the millions per quarter which means that they have no rush in replacing the system definitely not within the next few months though it is going to be a focus in this fiscal year the big question is whether it's going to be revealed and released in this fiscal year or it's just going to be revealed in this fiscal year and the release itself is going to be next year. And I will explain why this could be crucial a little bit later on. Because another thing that we see here is them recognizing how long it's been since they announced a new system. That being March 2015. That was when we got first the name Nintendo NX, the code name for Nintendo Switch. At the same time, if we read between the lines, they recognize we haven't given you any code name, and we're not going to give you any code name during this meeting as well. This sentence here is just recognition that no, we're not going to talk about it because we don't want to impact the Nintendo Switch. And this is also why the next sentence directly confirming a Nintendo Direct this June. And it's obviously being set up to calm down investors so that they know that there is a lineup of games coming out for the second half of 2024. So that we don't jump and expect new hardware since there are no other games coming out. Quite contrary, we have heard rumors about a codename Banquet game, which is being rumored to be a new Mario Party game. If Nintendo wants to have another 10 million seller before the launch of the successor to the Nintendo Switch, well, the only thing that makes sense is then a Mario Party game. Apparently, there are some other games as well. We know that a Nintendo World Championships and Yes edition, so a new Nintendo World Championships game is has been rated by the ESRB. And there are games coming out in the second half of the year. Some are talking about a dual pack of, of Zelda as well. So there, there are many possibilities uh, for the second half of the year in a June Nintendo Direct, which has now been confirmed by President Furukawa himself. I think the second half of the year is going to be filled with games. It's going to be eventful. And because of that, I'm getting to the point it is deliberate from the side of Nintendo and President Furukawa that they are emphasizing in the final sentence while also talking about the Nintendo Direct that there will be no mention of the Nintendo Switch successor during that presentation. What could this mean? Personally, I think that this could indicate two things. Number one, there's only going to be one first party Direct this year and it's going to be focused on the final big releases for the Nintendo Switch. We already know we have Pokemon ZA coming out in 2025. Could be do a release for the next system, could also come out uh, before the next system. It all depends on when the next system is coming out. Uh, in 2025. We now know at least it's going to be revealed uh, before the end of March, but of course could be 10 months from now, could be uh, September, could be October, of course when, then this year 2024, as it was the case with Nintendo Switch in 2016. 
But I think what we need to read in, especially in this final sentence, is literally the fact that this is going to be the presentation. And what's more, there's probably not going to be much else after that until the reveal of the Nintendo Switch successor. Because what would they announce in September that would be able to come out before the reveal of the next system? Uh, I think their focus is on the latter of 2024, getting those games out, and then building up to the reveal. What do I mean by that? It means that we're going to get the reveals now in June, then we're going to see releases coming out late summer or in fall, and then probably it's going to be very slow in terms of game releases in the beginning of 2025, all because the Switch 2 is coming out, say, I don't know, May? So exactly one year from now. It wouldn't surprise me that this announcement came as kind of an indication of the system is coming out exactly 12 months from now, and we're not going to reveal it until late this fiscal year. Why late this fiscal year? Well, here's the answer holiday season. They still have the possibility of selling the Nintendo Switch. The games that they will release in the second half of 2024, as they're emphasizing with this June Direct for this holiday season. They can still sell Nintendo Switch systems because they still haven't revealed or an announcement about the successor to Nintendo Switch before the holiday season is over. Why does this matter to, for Nintendo? It's very simple. Number one, it doesn't impact their current system sales which means it's possible still for the Nintendo Switch to catch up to the DS, which there isn't that many systems left, it's around 12 million to catch up to the system. That is one point. Number two, the Switch is not outgoing yet, so it means that people will still buy the system, especially regular consumers, because we will still not know the name probably of the next system come November this year. We'll probably not know how it looks unless that leaks. Of course, there's a danger here for Nintendo. Uh, a lot of details about the next system have most likely leaked already at this point. And it's uh, just a matter of time before some factory in China suddenly gives us a picture of the system itself. So of course Nintendo is taking a risk here, but officially I don't think they want to reveal this thing until they have gotten their holiday fix and holiday sales for all imaginable games that they're working on, and which are going to be featured in this Nintendo Direct outside of maybe one or two titles coming out within the first months of uh, 2025. But if we look at the time frame here, Starting from today, we kind of got our statement. We have games for the second half of 2024. Those games will be revealed in a Nintendo Direct this June before the shareholder meeting that we're going to hold on June 27th. This is clear information to the stockholders. It's coming and we have games for the second half of this year and the next system will be revealed and you will know about this before we end this fiscal year. That is to say, end of March 2025. But at the same time, we're also making it clear that the second half of this year, our focus is on the Nintendo Switch and the games coming out still to the Nintendo Switch. So we want to have a solid fall, we want to have a solid holiday season when it comes to sales so that we can end on top when it comes to Switch sales before revealing the next system. And that indication points me to the following. Either in January, though I'm not really sure about this, I think February, so the typical Nintendo Direct point could very well be when we get the reveal of the Nintendo Switch 2. Because that way you can have an empty January, which is pretty normal. But what's more, you don't keep too long before the next system comes out. Because by doing this, you have secured 2024 for the Nintendo Switch, but start off early in 2025, transitioning directly over say revealing the system or announcing the system in February and then releasing it three months later, end of May, for example, uh, which wouldn't be out of the ordinary. And it would be like 11 years after the previous Mario Kart came out. That extra year from the 10th anniversary could mean that we have a brand new Mario Kart ready. And that is going to sell like no, nothing else because we, we know this from the Switch and the sales of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which by the way, has surpassed over 60 million uh, sold copies ridiculous on a single system and it shows which game Nintendo needs to launch uh, the Nintendo Switch 2 with and that game needs to be ready when the system is going to launch as well. All right guys I want to see what your thoughts are about all of this uh, in the comment section down below. How does it change the year for Nintendo and for all of us? When do you think in June we're going to get this Nintendo Direct? 
If you haven't already, be sure to leave a like, subscribe and press the notification bell because it makes the video more visible. And it also allows people to understand what is being written between the lines here from uh, President Shintaro Furukawa. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and a big thanks goes as always to our patreon.com slash common patrons with special shout outs to our royal producers, Zach Johnson and JC Funk and Heroes, Ollie Wolf, Cheryl and Garrett Hoyt. You rock and please enjoy one or both of these two awesome videos.